Well, first of all, there are efforts now to disqualify President Trump from being a leader of his party and from running for re-election. Some Democratic leaders have made up a story saying that if he were guilty of some crime like classified information, he couldn't run. The Constitution provides only four reasons a person can't run. It has to be over 35, it has to be born in America, uh, he has to have not fought in the Civil War as part of an insurrection, <laughs> and he has to have been impeached with the impeachment plus disqualification. If he meets all of those four criteria, it doesn't matter whether he's convicted of a crime or whether he's in jail. The Constitution provides the criteria for president, not Democrats in the legislature. So the effort to try to disqualify him is absolutely going to fail. And I can imagine a crisis in this country if Congress passes a statute disqualifying him and he says, sorry, I'm running. I'm not being disqualified. We could have a real major constitutional crisis in this country over that issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I can add on that, Democrats yeah. tried this in California by trying to pass this qualification that you had to disclose your tax returns to run for president. I'm one of the lawyers who went into court and invalidated that under the exact terms that uh, Alan just set forth here. Democrats can't like we have this crap legislation being passed every day in the United States Congress. You think they can just sneak in a clause that says Donald Trump can't be president, nya, 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 and that can be constitutional? That's not how it works in America. No, it's a bill Trump of the Trump, yeah. I, I agree. I mean, like, look, if the, we are so light years away from Trump actually getting charged and then convicted and then stopped from running for off. I mean, it's just but this is a Democrat pipe dream. And if it happened, there'd be a complete meltdown in this country. I mean, I, don't, I, I shudder. To I'm not sure we're light years away, uh, Megan. I think we're, you know, like more like light minutes away. Uh, what? The, the, what they're signaling. Yeah. People, Lawrence Tribe, who have the ear of the attorney general, giving him 15 grounds on which to indict urging him and academics are stretching the laws. If any of them were my students in my first year class where I used to give an exam, figure out how many crimes you can get and then give a judgment as to whether they should be brought, Tribe and all of his associates would be getting C minuses with great inflation. Uh, Lawrence um, Tribe just filed an well, amicus brief in my in where I'm defending uh, people being sued by uh, Alex Vindman in the D.C. District Court, you know, arguing for the opposite of what liberals should be ar arguing for. So uh, Alan is absolutely correct. It's, it's upside down world here in, in D.C. today. But wait, Harmi, go go on about why you think it's not light years away, because, you know, normally, well, this DOJ kind of drags its feet a lot, but but normally it would take a while for them to actually get an indictment. Although I will say once you execute, you know, a search warrant in the way they just did, normally you've got all your ducks in a row and you're ready to prosecute if you want. But it's just such a huge leap to go prosecute the former president of the United States, the likely opponent to the sitting president of the United States. Like, look, I, it's hard for me to believe. Megan, one thing that civil libertarians on both sides have been complaining about for years is the plethora and, and metastasizing size of the United States criminal code means that all of us are committing federal right. crimes on a regular basis. Well, you, me, Alan, we've all committed federal crimes, according to somebody's definition of that. It is it is very easy for federal prosecutors to make up a case. And if they are hacks and, and enabled by judicial hacks, able to get to get an indictment. It is not that hard for the feds to indict somebody. So if you've made the decision that it's okay to send 30 FBI agents to the former president's home where he conducts business, where he's been hanging they out can't. for two years, they and do can't this, do you it. have crossed that line. You no, crossed that line. Here, but, but here's the thing, uh, just going back to my original point. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going back. To my, I don't believe it. I think it's a lie. It's pretext. That's a pretext to get in there and get into the safe, which, according to Eric Trump, didn't even have anything. You can in find there. something. They're looking, you can find but, something but, 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 against but, but, anybody. But, 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 I know, you know but they it, can't. Like it, even it, Merrick Garland, partisan though he is, has got to realize after they didn't go after Hillary Clinton for the 30,000 emails and the destruction, the acid wash, as Trump put it, of her server, they cannot possibly turn around and go after Donald you know, Trump, who, by the way, has the authority to declassify documents, unlike Hillary Clinton. There's just no, right. even Merrick Garland's not that bold. But, you know, uh, Lavrenti Beria, the head of the KGB, went to Stalin one day and said, Stalin, show me the man and I'll find you the crime. That's what's going on. Trump has been targeted. And now the job of the tribes of the world is find me the crime. Do anything to find me the crime. They can do and, that to any of us. Absolutely. Yeah. Megan, yeah. you, Look, me, anything. Harvey, they don't like what we're saying. They can do it to any of us. Mm -hmm. Well, by the way, they probably will be soon. Is where, where you just they just passed this you know, act that that authorized 80,000. 
They have 87,000 new IRS agents. Oh, great. How's that going to go? Well, historically, it goes badly for the <laughs> working in, and middle time, class. I was ordered four times during the Nixon administration. So this is not something new. Carthy Ice did this. Nixon did this. Now the shoe is on the other foot. And it's the left that's doing this. It's just as bad. And true civil libertarians like us have to stand up against their own party, against the opposing party with equal vigor. If you're like me, you're getting more and more concerned about the future. The market's all over the place. Inflation is at its highest level in 40 years. Interest rates are skyrocketing. Market experts not only predict a recession, but are using terms like economic hurricane and unprecedented. If you want to protect your future, call a precious metal dealer I trust, American Hartford Gold. They can show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. All it takes to get started is a simple, short phone call, and they will have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or inside your IRA or 401k. And they keep it simple. They are the highest rated firm in the country with an A plus rating from the Better Business Bureau and thousands of satisfied clients. And as an exclusive offer for my fans, if you call them right now, they're going to give you up to $1,500 of free silver and a free safe on qualifying orders. President Trump should call. I hear he's in need of a new one. <laughs> Don't wait. Call now. Call 866-518-2955. That's 866-518-2955. Or text Megan, my name, M-E-G-Y-N, to 65532. Again, call 866-518-2955 or text M-E-G-Y-N to 65532. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.